make sure to subscribe and thumbs up the video. All right, on to the vlog. What's up, y'all? Just wanted to pop in and make sure that you guys checked out yesterday's vlog. If y'all haven't, make sure you guys check it out up above. I'll use an iCard to link it. And as always, enjoy the rest of the vlog. Say hi! Daddy. Hi! Hi! Doug? Doug. Hey. That's camera. Say hi, baby girl. Uh -huh. You wanna say hi again? Say hi. Hey. Oh, I gotta clean your nose, boogeyman. We gotta change your diapers. I smell somebody who took a poo poo. I smell somebody that took a poo poo. Who took a poo poo? Who took the poo poo? You took the poo poo? Our sitter's coming today to help us out, just kind of watching the kiddos while I tend to the um, handyman that's coming uh, to take care of some things. I'm gonna have him like hang a few things up. There's just little miscellaneous things that I want to get him to do. Yeah. 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 Say hi, fam. Say cheese. Hi, Good girl. That's my bubble girl. Come on, big boy. Uh oh. Jackson, Jackson. Be careful. Come on, let's go change poopy diapers. Say cheese. Say cheese. Hi. Hi. Let me get them changed. Yeah. Real quick. yeah? Let me get you changed, okay? Come on. You gonna help me figure out what to put on? Hey. That's your drawer, sweet pea. Which, by the way, we managed to empty out. Empty out. So here we have everything nice and organized for Jayla's side. All of which contain outfits and onesies and sleepers and whatnot that actually fit them. We had to go through and take out the stuff that does not. And uh, we're gonna be giving those away. So. He's helping me figure out what to put on. Jewel. <laughs> What's up, y'all? Okay, out in these drizzies, okay? We're at Lowe's. Grabbing ourselves a, um, a curtain rod and a curtain for our basement sliding glass doors. My handyman is over at the house right now. And the mole guy, our critter guy, mole critter guy, just left. Um, turns out he actually found out where he feels like the squirrel and the bird, because. I told y'all about the bird, right? I hope I did. If I didn't, we did have a bird come in the other day. Yeah. Or a whole animal house at our house, okay? So, <laughs> so he thinks he found out where the actual um, squirrel and the bird came in. There is some kind of vent that um, was from the previous owners of the house um, when they renovated their kitchen that still existed and it was really just kind of an eyesore. Nothing major and it really never got in our way, but it was up high enough and there was a hole big enough for the for any kind of animal of, the, of that size to kind of come in. And because it's cold outside, because there's some kind of air, there's some air escaping, some heat escaping from our house, which this is a good thing that he kind of caught this, um, that um, he feels that's where they're kind of going to because they, you know, the birds and the, the squirrels or whatever are trying to find heat. So. He thinks that's where they're coming in from. Um, and so he went ahead and took the pipe out. It's like a vent pipe. And then kind of sealed it off and did all that. So hopefully that takes care of the issue. And we can't find the squirrel. 
Yeah, I know. Yeah, I know. Um, the bird we got out. We got the bird out the house. We actually opened up all the doors and opened up all the sliding glass doors and all that stuff. And, you know, the bird got out. But the squirrel, we don't know. We don't know if it went back from where it came from or if it's still in the house. So we did have to set some additional traps. So there are traps down in our basement right now for the squirrel so we can catch the squirrel. And we kind of have to see what happens from there. So I'll keep you guys posted. But anyway, he feels like we're good. It's just kind of one of those isolated incidents. Um, and uh, we got the hole sealed, took out the pipe, did all that, we're good to go. Now we have our handyman over at the house and he's just doing a few things. He did take down the lights. My house looks so like blah without the lights, it's so crazy. Um, and so we got those all stored away and done. And then he's mounting a few things for me and so I'm at Lowe's now grabbing a curtain rod for our basement sliding glass door. Just because I've always wanted to put one down there. And even though we are gonna renovate, probably renovate the basement a little bit, maybe, maybe not, depends. Because you guys know I want to get into another house. Yeah, I know. And if that happens, we may not do all of that. We may just spruce it up enough for us to be able to put our house on the market. I don't know, we're still kind of going back and forth. I'll tell you guys about that later on. But, I do want to get a, uh, a rod and a um, curtain for that area. So, that's what I'm doing right now is I'm over here at Lowe's getting these bad boys, right? And then he's mounting some cameras for me that I've wanted mounted on the wall because you guys know we have cameras all throughout our house. And so, um, there are some cameras that I had sitting on a table that now I want mounted on the wall so I can see different areas and I can see a bigger area. Um, and so, he's mounting those and just doing miscellaneous things like this random little knickknacks around the house. Um, and that should be it for all of the people coming to my house to fix stuff. Let us pray that this squirrel is found. Okay. And he's like, worst comes to worst, you can't find the squirrel, then it will just die. And then you'll find it later. I'm like, that's great. Thanks. So let's just hope. Let's just hope. Anyway, let me see if I can figure out what rod we're going to get. So they have all these rod choices. And you guys know I kind of like this. I love this color. Right? This color family. And that's kind of what we did upstairs. I don't know, but I don't know that I need to do anything extravagant because again, we may do some renovating downstairs and we may end up switching the whole thing out anyway. But, I feel like this color is beautiful too, but I, I kinda wanna stick to this color family. So, let's see. These are nice too, actually, I like that one too. And they ain't cheap, y'all, look. They kinda vary in price depending on the ones that you get. So, let's see what we got. Hmm. I think I know what I'm gonna get. All right, so I decided to get this kind, kind of similar to the one I have upstairs. And I was looking at this color for the uh, curtains. I kind of like the fact that they're blackout, but I don't know, it's kind of gaudy. It's kind of like orangey, so I don't know if I'm gonna go for that. So I'm thinking this is the color I'm gonna go for, just for the basement to keep it kind of neutral. I really want like a brown color but they don't have a brown color that doesn't have like all these weird paisley patterns. Like they have all these like weird looking, paisley looking drape type things, you know what I mean? And uh, I don't like those, see what I'm saying? Like the brown has that one and that doesn't really go with our flow. And then this wouldn't be bad. I just don't like the, pr I don't like the, the color of this one. It's kind of like poo brown and khaki. So anyway, I think the one I just got is pretty much this color and it should pretty much go with everything in our house. I like this one too, this color right here. That color, I like that, but I haven't been able to find that one. If I could find that one, that would probably be the one I'd go for. Let me see if I could find it. If not, the one I just showed you might just be it. Okay, I found it. So I think I'm gonna go for this color, the darker color. That's the lighter khaki color, which I, I like, but I think this is gonna be a better bet, especially because we've got kids, so the darker the better, I think. So this is the one I'm gonna get, y'all. So back at the crib, been here for a while, got a lot done, thank you Jesus. No squirrel yet, we'll keep you posted. However, kiddos are asleep, they're taking a nap. We hung up a couple new things. Bam, right? And then the drapes are downstairs and we had some other things done too, but check out this cuteness. Y'all know, we're still trying to work on getting her in the crib. So, that's as close as we've gotten so far. We're still working on it, right? Check out Jax. There's Big Boy, and he's listening to some music. So, 
That's what he's listening to. Using the sound machine. But he is safe. Sleep. So I've been experimenting with the times that we've been putting down the kiddos down for a nap. And what I've found is in the last couple of days, when I haven't allowed them to sleep past a certain hour, they seem to go down a lot easier at night. Last night they went down with absolutely zero problem, zero hesitation. That's how I feel like we need to be at this point with regard to how we put them down. So. Um, when they take naps, especially if they take a later nap in the afternoon, I just try not to let them go past a certain time so they're not completely sleeping through the afternoon, right? And so that they are still sleepy when, you know, nighttime comes. Does that make sense? Hi! <laughs> What's up, y'all? Okay, a few hours later. Got a lot done, got a lot accomplished. Yes. Hi. Hi. But girl, you telling everybody? Da, 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 da. Mama, 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 mama. Do you know keep saying daddy? <coughs> Traitor. It's hilarious, y'all. We're getting ready to go to the gym. So we got the kiddos ready. They are dressed. <laughs> Look at big boy over here. Big man, yay! We gotta get the shoes on, but we're getting ready to go to the gym. I'm about to train with my girl Jojo. So I'm gonna get there a little early so I can warm up a little bit. You know, you don't wanna, you know what I mean? Y'all know I got a neck issue, so I gotta get there and warm up a little bit. Uh oh, that's what we want. See that? Yeah, we watched their nap time today. Ooh, yawning. We want that. I want them to be exhausted when we get home so it's easier to put them down. We're gonna see how it goes again. Day three. Okay, hold on, let me put their shoes on. Hi. Hmm. Say hi. Say hi. I had fingerprints on the screen because they done touch the screen of the thing or the lens of the thing, right? Kiss. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Hmm. Give me a kiss. Mwah, thank you. That was that mama just here, 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 here. I'll take it though. Yeah. Daddy's loading up the car. Get ready to go to the gym. Taking the kids to wear themselves out with the kiddos in the kids care area. And hoping to have another night like we did the other day where they went down easy. We'll see. Mm, he's so handsome. Oh. Here comes daddy. What's up guys? You guys ready? Yep. Right? Gym. <laughs> he already looks tired. Jayla's yeah. rubbing her eyes. Yeah, I'm like, yes. Let's wear him out. All right, you ready? Yes, yep. You be there, what, seven? Yeah, but we have to, I have to warm up, so. All right, <laughs> you better. What's up, buddy? Take, take your son. Go put the coats on. Come on, yes. buddy. Say hi to Juice. Dad, put your coat on, buddy. You haven't seen him today at all. Dun, 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 I'm talking dun, about y'all, not him. Dun, Obviously, dun, he's seen Jax. He's not impressed. <laughs> He's not impressed. Four, five, where'd he go? Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, we'll do our squat pulses. <laughs> Definitely. All right, okay. squat pulses. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Way to go. Back with my girl Jojo. <laughs> she showed me what I'm doing next. Okay, so we're going to do two of these. Okay. 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 Here we go. Three, four, five, six. 
nice job. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Six, nice job. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Whew. I'm gonna feel these obliques tomorrow for sure. Those little side bends, I haven't done those in a while. And we did them weighted today, so I'm gonna feel those. But anyway, yeah, we made it to the gym. Kids are here too, but Juice dropped me off first so I could get in. So we warm up before I started with JoJo. And uh, yeah, we're on a second set of exercises. She told me she's giving me a second so she can get a mat. Lord, she's gonna have me do it. Oh, Lord. I can see her setting up now. <laughs> she's trying to keep my. Oh. Way to hold at the top. Two, three, way to go. Four, way to push through. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, one more. Ten. One, two, three, four. One, two, great job. One, two, Three, four, one, two, nice job. One, two, three, four. Nice job. One, two, three, four. One, two, two, three, three, four. Four squats, nice job. One, two, great form. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. <sighs> that last exercise kicked my tail. I had to like zone out to music, yo. Lunges, weighted lunges, weighted walking lunges. <laughs> Take the wind out of you. Oh, really think the wind out of me. Okay. Ten. Mm -hmm. One. Two. Nice job. Three. Four. Five. Six, seven, eight, nine, two, three, four, five, six, drop down lower, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Two, one, one, two, two, three. Three, four, four, nice job. Five, five, six, six, seven, seven, eight, eight, nine, nine, ten, ten, nice job. Ten, nine, way to hold it. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, rest. One, two, three, four, five, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, Five, four, three, two, one. You did it. How do you feel? I feel great. Yes? Oh my god. Yay! Abs on. Abs on fleek. Abs on fleek. <laughs> no damn joke. I can barely lift my arm up to vlog, y'all. She wasn't playing around with me. Drinking a little nighttime bottle, that's all. 
a good time today. You had a good time? <laughs> He's so funny. Y'all see, see his hair. His hair looks a mess. What'd he do to it? It like, looks like it's all spiked up. in this part right here. So, oh. so it's sticking up. Yeah, baby. Maybe. Yeah, baby. Maybe. Hi, sweet pea. Hi, handsome. Hi, sweet pea. You're pretty girl. See you later, alligator. Yeah, you can get down from things now. Hi, sweetheart. Oh my god, I can't move. I just need to wash my hands and I just really don't. Where are you going, sweetheart? Let's see, okay. Oh, Jackson. Oh, the formula on the ground. Oh, man. Look at him, look at him, look at him, look at him, look at him. Really, Jax? Oh my god, let me go get this. Come on, baby girl. <laughs> look at her. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Come on, Sweepy. She was running. Come on, Sweepy. Baby girl. Baby girl. Baby girl. Lead the way. Oop. Don't go into the office. Don't go into the office. Waiting for your brother? Come on, Jax. Come on, you got it, sweetheart. Good boy, that's my big boy. Come on, show him how to walk, baby. <laughs> Can we just talk about the fact that she done kicked my tail? Like, I was trying to get the kiddos ready to go to bed and I was on the floor doing it. Like, laying on the floor trying to get them dressed. Trying to take them out their, their clothes, trying to change out their diapers, y'all. No joke, and I need to clean this lens. Oh, but that's what I wanted. I wanted to get my tush kicked. Do you hear me? So, yeah, today was no joke. And it's not like it's stuff that I've just never done before. You guys have seen me do super, super hard workouts. It's just that I haven't been doing this type of stuff in a very, very long time. So it's gonna take me a second to adjust and to get back to the fitness level I used to be at before the kids. You know what I mean? Even though I am smaller than I was before I had my kids, before I got pregnant. Because the one thing I don't think I even told y'all yesterday is your girl got on that scale because I had to get on the scale and we had to do not measurements but like they did the whole you know um, body fat percentage and all that kind of stuff and we got on the machine that I got on last time when I was working out with my other uh, trainer um, and I am legit eight pounds lighter than I was before so I knew I'd lost weight over the holidays I knew I did um, and this is me getting on the scale after I've eaten and all of that stuff. Typically, I usually weigh on an empty stomach, so I probably lost 10, 10 pounds, possibly. You know what I mean? Because you know you give a little, give yourself a little bit of wiggle room there. But I knew I'd lost a little bit of weight. I knew and felt that I lost a little bit of weight. But yeah, I mean clearly I did. So um, yeah, I'm just not in the same physical fitness, physical shape I used to be in as far as my endurance and all of that stuff. So the stuff she's having me do now is almost like beginner compared to what I used to do when I was working out with Jess back in the day. Y'all remember that for long time followers. Um, and uh, so it's gonna be it's gonna be an adjustment. It's gonna take me a second to get back up to where I was before, right? So the plan is to work out with her twice a week. Um, and that's what you guys will be seeing here in addition to everything else you guys see here too. Um, so I work out with her in the next couple days. So we're gonna see how this goes. Um, like I told you guys the other day, I have a bunch of workout sessions left. So we're gonna take as much advantage of them as possible because I paid for them, you know what I mean? <sighs> anyway, it is time to give the kiddos a little something, something to eat, and then I'm gonna put them down. And Juice is actually in the shower. I just got out the shower myself. Yummy. Yeah, we've got jasmine rice some chicken. And I'm about to cut up some avocado. And then for dessert, we're gonna have some bananas and strawberries. Yeah, a little bit of green juice too. He does that all the time, and then he'll put it right back in his mouth. He's hilarious. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> By the way, y'all, I haven't even updated y'all. Okay, so lots has happened since right before I went to the gym. So I told y'all. We were trying to see if we were actually gonna catch the the, uh, the squirrel. I keep wanting to say mouse, the squirrel, okay? 
Turns out we ended up catching the squirrel. By the way, the traps, I should let you guys know, were not at all set to harm the squirrel, okay? So legitimately, they were just to catch the squirrel so that we could go ahead and put it back in the forest, okay? So, um, we did catch the squirrel and he was just chilling, nibbling on some nuts and some peanut butter, okay? The gag is though, get this, remember the trap y'all saw Juice go downstairs with the other day? As in last night, earlier in, in the vlog? The dude we called earlier today to actually come and help us with the situation to make sure there was no infest infestation, to double check to see where they could have come in and all that stuff, walked in with the exact same traps. So I'm sitting here like, we could have done this our daggone selves, right? And spent a whole heck of a lot less money because the trap was like 24 bucks versus what we paid old dude to set the exact same traps downstairs. So we have one of our traps down there and we have some of his traps down there. Y'all, yeah. but the one good thing is, you know, we did have a professional come and take a look. We have kids, so the last thing we want is for there to be a real serious problem. So that was the reason why we called them primarily was one, of course, to catch the damn thing, but two, to make sure that it wasn't a situation. You feel me? That it was just an isolated incident, which in this particular case, it was an isolated incident. It actually got in through a nook and cranny that we were able to close up and get fixed. And he remedied that, which was good. So we're good, but I'm just cracking up because we done wrote a check like, well we could, have, you know what I mean? Had we known what we know now, we could have caught the thing ourselves and put it out in the forest and it would cost us all of $24, but that's okay. I wanna make sure, it's better to be safe than sorry. You feel me? Like it, it'd be different, you know? It was just juice night. Even then it still wouldn't be good because I mean, they can carry all kinds of heebie-jeebies. Either way, the squirrel was caught and put in its natural habitat. No harm was caused to the squirrel whatsoever. They were literally just a trap. It wasn't a trap like a mouse trap, but we're, we're gonna actually kill the animal. So I should put that out there. Y'all, these last couple days have been great, great, okay. But such is life in this household. Every day is something brand spanking new. Anyway. <sighs> y'all, I'm excited about these workouts, y'all. Like, I have not gotten my butt kicked like this since I was working out with Jess on a consistent basis. So I am really ecstatic to see how these workouts are gonna go and how they're gonna, you know, how they're gonna turn out and to see what kind of results I get. The one thing I have to get better with is eating more consistently and so that's why I love the fact that I do the green juices and the acai, acai bowls and things like that. But there are times like today where I just was all over the place and hectic that I didn't have the full number of meals I should have. So I gotta get better with that. I'm not condoning that behavior whatsoever because you guys know I'm always all about you, know, you need to eat to make sure you're eating enough and all that so that you can, you know, fuel your body for the workouts and all that stuff. It's just life and things, life and things. So, um, I talked to Jojo. Jojo was like, What'd you eat today? And I'm like, Ugh, Really not much, but um, I'm gonna get better. So, tomorrow morning, first thing in the morning, we're gonna start off the right way. When I feed the kids, I gotta feed myself. I just gotta do it. I just always feed them first and then. We go right on to the next activity and I just totally don't even think about feeding myself and I need to do that. So we're gonna get better with it. Anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and let you say goodnight to you guys here in a second. But while you're here, make sure you guys thumbs up the video. Subscribe to become part of the fam bam if you guys have not already. Welcome to all of our new subscribers. Hope you guys are enjoying your stay here. There's plenty more to come. We love y'all and I'll let you say goodnight to y'all next. They weren't playing, y'all. Look at that. <laughs> They're almost done. Yes, I love seeing that. What up, y'all? So uh, it's about 10.45 at night. I got some good news, and I got some even better news. The first part of the good news is it's uh, Wednesday, and we already made it to the gym twice, as y'all just saw in these last couple of vlogs, or last vlog, or two. So that's the good news because we haven't done that in six or seven months maybe. I don't know, I really haven't been keeping track. But I do know we haven't been twice during the week. Maybe once during the week and once on Saturday, but you know, if we can get in, <clears throat> get it in two or three times during the week and then once on the weekend, we'll be in good shape by the summertime, y'all. So nothing to worry about. And the second, piece of good news I wanted to share with y'all is we actually caught the squirrel. So, thumbs up for that. We caught that bad boy uh, earlier today. 
We set some more traps down, got some peanuts out. Not two or three, not two hours later, that bad boy ran out looking for those peanuts. We trapped him and uh, we let him go, y'all. We just, we trapped him and got him out the house. So, thumbs up for that one, y'all. We finally got rid of it. And then we did some other stuff downstairs to make sure there were no more entryways for these little guys to get in in the basement. So, thank God for that because, you know, squirrels will drive you crazy. Y'all know how it is, man. Just, they got all kind of outdoor stuff they bring inside and, you know, feces. Mm -hmm. All the heebie-jeebies anybody can ask for. We don't need it. My bad, y'all. The dammer shut off, so we had to create some more space on there. I don't have long, so like I said, we made it to the gym, we caught the squirrel, and we got the kiddos to sleep at a decent hour. They've been hanging out, sleeping on mommy for a while. It's a baby boy. Stop yeah. stop caressing him like that. He's you gonna spoil you gonna spoil him, man. We don't, we don't, wanna, we don't wanna spoil a kid. Yeah, don't 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 be just, just let him sleep, you know. Don't no need for all that. Just gonna let him sleep. We got baby girl over here peacefully sleeping. Here right, sweetie. He is peacefully sleeping. Yeah, you told me not to caress. Hey, 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 oh, 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 oh. So yeah, anyway, y'all. We're gonna get out, we're gonna get on out of here. I got some Chipotle to eat. It's late, gotta get some sleep. I gotta get up for work tomorrow. So, thumbs up the video. Thumbs up for catching the squirrel. Get him out of here. And uh, we gonna holler at y'all. Manana. Peace. Say bye. Bye y'all. Love y'all. <laughs> he says bye too, and so does Jayla. <laughs> See y'all tomorrow. <laughs>